Hey friends, it's Ruben with Hi-Fi MIDI. Thanks for joining me for this live stream. If you're out there, please say hi. I'm going to wait a little bit for this. Hopefully I won't have the same issues I had last time. But I think everything is sorted now. Let's see how many people we have here. Please say hi if you're out there and let me know how the sound is, how the video quality is. You know, I spent a lot of money on a new laptop and it's supposed to be twice as better as my last one, but um, I'm, I was having some issues, so that's kind of frustrating. If you're out there, say hi, and I'll get started with this review. So uh, this is a review of Vienna Symphonic Library Synchron D274 Grand Piano. Now, that's a long name. Now this is a sample of a Steinway & Sons D274 Concert Grand. This piano costs $175,000 and is the most popular uh, piano for concert pianists. Awesome. Thanks, Jazz Dude. All right. So... Before, all right, before I get into the details of it, I'm going to play a little bit for you. I know I did in the last attempt, but uh, one second. This is going to be pretty quick because my wife just got here. <laughs> I was supposed to have been done by now, but all right, I'm going to play a little bit for you and I'm going to talk about it. So I was really, really reluctant on buying this because it costs about 335 US dollars. And I've never spent that much on just one instrument. I've spent that much on bundles, but because of the reviews, the demos and the information on how this was created, I had to buy it and I had to see for myself what it was like. Now, uh, this is a, again, a Steinway & Sons D274 and they say that it has about 4,000 samples per note, which is a crazy amount. Now, I think the download size was about 30 gigs and the uncompressed size was over 100 gigabytes. It took a long time to install, a short time to download though. And, um, oh, you're very welcome for those videos. But once I installed it, it was very easy to use. And that's the benefit of the Synchron player, which it uses now. Uh, Vienna Symphonic had the Vienna Instruments player before this, which had a lot of features, but it was very, very complex and difficult for a lot of people to use. Uh, this is a lot more intuitive. It's beautiful. I love the graphic of the piano in the background. You can immediately see what everything does. Reverb, volume, dynamics. Um, and then you have more control over the tone over here on this side. You, it shows you whether your soft sostenuto or sustain pedal are engaged or not. I only have the sustain pedal. Then down here it has your different mixes, like the main ones, so you can quickly access it. 
I'm using the player one and it's using 4.26 gigs of, of RAM. So that's a lot. However, uh, if you notice, whenever I'm playing softly, like extremely soft, you get those extremely soft dynamics like you would on a row piano. As well as the fortissimos on the um, hard velocities. So this, many times you don't hear it on other piano sample libraries because they have a very limited range of dynamic that they, that they actually record. Um, that's why their sizes are smaller. Like for example, uh, the, the ones that native instruments puts out are, they're about 128 megabytes. Whereas this one is 4.26 gigabytes. So that's, that's uh, about, what is it? 40 times, almost 40 times, um, larger. And, uh, but then you can hear it, you can hear it in the sound, like the transitions between dy dynamics is so smooth and seamless. And even the soft, the soft pedal, like the sounds are, are different and they're gorgeous. I'll lower the dynamics so you can hear it better. Now what makes this special is that it was recorded on the, the um, Synchron stage in Vienna, a famous recording hall, but you get so many different mic positions all at once. And you can access those and mix those, change the settings in the mix section. You have your stereo mix, condenser, mid, main, main C. If you buy the full library, I bought the standard library, you get the surround sound and all these different mic settings, but it also takes up way more RAM. So those are usually for professionals who are working in, um, in film, uh, film scoring. But Let's hear that. Let's hear the condenser by itself. So it sounds very dry, then the mid. Main. And then main center, I believe. And then you could change the panning of each one change the volume, um, change the reverb, delay, EQ. There's a lot of different things. And the edit section, you can change the tuning of every individual note, which I'm probably never going to do, um, as well as de other parameters like repetition, smear. Some of these, I don't know what they are. I didn't really get into it. I've only had it for a very short time, but this is not something that I would use. But I, th I like that it has that option to get into the details of every single note. Um, what else? I, I'm forgetting what I've already covered because I've already attempted this, I think twice. You can see your CPU usage. I think I've done this already. I'm going to, I'm going to just go with, I have already done that, but. So some comments about it. The installation was easy. I paid for it. I clicked on the download manager, clicked on the product and immediately started, do started downloading. It was very easy to do, which I always enjoy. Um, this is available for Windows and PC, I'm uh, sorry, Windows and Mac. Um, but you have to have the Steinberg key, which is a dongle, it's about 25 bucks. It holds all your licenses. It's kind of inconvenient but it's supposed to combat piracy. Uh, we have to pay for it, that sucks. What else? The thing I wish it had was that the Vienna Instruments player had is sample purging, or as they call it, optimizing. So right now it's using 4.26 gigabytes of RAM. Um, usually when you record your track, 
you can have it analyze what's already been played and then get rid of the samples that are not being used thereby saving the saving your RAM or reducing your RAM usage this one as far as I can tell does not have that although you can in the settings tell it how many samples to load that way you use fewer samples but I prefer the older method um, it does take up a lot of my system CPU sometimes, so I have to increase the buffer size. And that's never good, but this is, I think, marketed toward people who are have a professional setup or at least an expensive um, home studio setup. So I would be cautious about that. But as far as the sound, this is by far the most expressive line of pianos I've ever played because I haven't played their other ones but I'm sure they're they're at the same caliber but I just want to take you to the keys real quick every single note sounds beautiful on this I absolutely love playing it. Well, friends, this is a short review because it's only, it's a very simple piano, but very detailed. And I think it was well worth the price because I'm going to be using this to record a lot of piano tracks. Well, thank you for watching this live stream and I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Take care.